Hello, what I'm going to show you on this test rig today is how to fill and bleed a typical central heating radiator and also how to remove that radiator further down the line should you want to take it off for whatever reason using the rag clamp method. So the first thing we've got here is a, uh, we've got a radiator and I know that the level of the water now is up to this line here because I've actually connected on this corner here a piece of transparent tube which is indicating the level so the water level is matching in the tube what is actually inside the radiator. So the first thing to do, we're going to fill the radiator and bleed the air out. So I'm going to take out the bleed nipple, which when you do this I suggest you don't take it out, you just slacken it off because if it drops out and you lose it, you're in big problems. So next thing to do is introduce water into it. So the water is now coming up this pipe here and forcing up and forcing the air up and out of the um, the bleed valve here. So you can see there come up to the top and you'll see water coming out here any second watch there you go so we'll put the bleed nipple back now to seal it off but we know now the radiator is actually full full of water now what I need to do also is to lock off this because we've got to I'll explain this to you in a second we need a vacuum maintained in the radiator now that's that filled and vented now further down the line if you want to take the radiator off with the water still inside use the rag clamp uh, method as, as I just mentioned so the first thing to do is to fit the clamps on each corner uh, second thing is to isolate the radiator both sides screw it down fully clockwise and then undo the air vent um, nipple at the top and release any excess pressure. And it's very important that you close that off so we maintain a vacuum in the radiator. Now I'm only going to show you on one end today um, how to actually uh, seal the water off but if you're going to do it on your radius you have to do exactly the same operation on both sides but I can't do it here because I've not got a valve connected to there. So like I said You've isolated the radiator now, you've got your clamps on. And the next thing to do is to undo this union nut here between the valve and the radiator. Now I do suggest you get a piece of cloth. You might get a few drips coming out and you don't want to stain your carpets, etc. So just get a cloth there. Use your rad wrench to hold the valve because these nuts can be sometimes very tight. And slacken off the union nut in between. So, slide the guide rod in, and you're going to get your seal, that's quite thin so that will go in between the gap very quickly, you pull the valve away very quickly and slot that in. Now the water is sealed inside the radiator, you slide the guide rod over to the fork, get the end of it inside the slot. and then give it half a turn to engage it and then push it over that way and tighten up the pinch screw there now that will hold the water inside the radiator so you can see there there's a gap there it's actually disconnected the water level is still here I'll take this um, that's vented now to atmosphere the water still held inside the radiator so what I can do now is take the radiator off, you can see the water level there, take the radiator off and that's it, the radiator is off with the water still inside. So that's a quick demonstration of how you fill, vent and remove your radiators using the rag clamp system. Thanks for watching.